Hey everyone, and welcome to another beer haul video. Uh, just recently, if you've been paying attention to the channel, you'll see that me and Aaron just recently went to Ottawa. We were there to visit a few friends because they were getting married, and we decided that since we were staying the night, the day after, we would go and just kind of explore the city. Now, Ottawa turned out to be quite boring, but the good thing about Ottawa, and I guess the good thing about Ontario in general, is that their provincial liquor store, it's fucking awesome. The LCBO blows the SAQ out of the fucking water. So I went there and I picked up a bunch of local beers. I got four here in front of me that I'm going to show you right now. Um, and considering that Ottawa is only two hours away, it's just a two hour drive from Montreal to Ottawa, then I think it's safe to say that Aaron and I will be going back uh, whether to play shows or to do beer runs or just to visit our friends in the area. So yeah, I'll show you the, uh, the four beers that I got here. So first we have Blood Moon. If you look on the, uh, it's got some nice art there on the side. Like a, I guess a bit of a forested area with like the, the Blood Moon itself up in the sky. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's uh, done by Whitewater Brewing Co., which is, let's see if it says where it is, uh, Foresters Falls, Ontario. It is a blood orange sour, 4.8% alcohol volume. Uh, it's got an IBU rating of 4, and it says on the can that the notes are tart and fruity. Um, on the back it says, the sun, earth, and moon need to be perfectly aligned to create the marvel we call a blood moon. This sour is no different. We created incredible alignment between sour and blood orange to create this wondrous beer that, like a lunar eclipse, won't be here for long. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to drinking this one. Erin is a huge fan of sours specifically, so I might end up giving this one to her. I don't know yet. Next we have another one from Whitewater called Farmer's Daughter. You can see the, uh, the cowgirl art here on the side of the can. It's pretty cool. I like that a lot. It's got an IBU rating of 22, 5% alcohol volume, and it is a blonde ale. Um, again, this is brewed in Foresters Falls, Ontario, and the side of the can says, boasting all the benefits of fresh air, good soil, and a bit of elbow grease, this beer is handcrafted using fresh Canadian ingredients. It's light and refreshing, perfect at the end of a hard day's work. Brewed by friends for friends. That's pretty wholesome. I look forward to trying that one too. Next we have one that's called Binary System. It's definitely got a matrixy kind of vibe to the can art. I like that. Uh, this is done by the Sawdust City Brewing Company. It's 8.5%, so much stronger than the other two. Uh, it's just called a strong beer. Uh, on the back it says, Binary system brings together the simplicity of two malts and two hops to create an impenetrably hazy, rich, creamy IPA. Bright aromas of citrus greet you on the nose, followed by herbal tropical flavors melded with spicy pine notes, juicy hops, silky body, and a luscious finish. The math is simple. Two plus two equals awesome. And that's uh, quoted here by Sam Corbeil, brewmaster. So yeah, Sawdust City Brewing Company, I've never had anything by them before. Again, it's a bit strong, but that's okay. Uh, it's a double IPA, actually, and the IBU is 45, and the hops included are Mosaic and Chinook. Sweet. Now this one here, this last one, this really caught my eye because of the, uh, the artwork on the can. I've never quite seen anything as flashy and loud and busy as this. This is the, uh, uh, where do I even begin? Sparkle Puff Triple IPA. Yeah, you can see the art here. I'll just go in a bit closer. It's, uh, <laughs> it's something else. Yeah. It's pretty, uh, pretty busy, as I said. So this is done by Flying Monkeys Craft Brewery. Uh, which is located in uh, Barrie, Ontario, 107 Dunlop Street. 
So on the front it says, uh, besides the name being Sparklepuff, it also says Galaxy Starfighter on one side, Defender of the Universe on the other. Um, it's an extra strong beer at 10.2 percent. It's the highest amount of any that I have here. Uh, let's see. And then on the back it says, exploring realms of deep dank space with the rule of three in its DNA. The dank part sold me. That's what caught my eye about this, not just the uh, art in the can. Uh, Sparklepuff launches with a payload of smashed summer peaches for cushions of fierce multi-fluff behind a force field of hops. Three times dry hops, triple the hop flavor, and thrice the aroma, the 10.2% alcohol volume of this unfiltered adventure glimmers with the epic glory of Sparklepuff, galaxy starfighter, defender of the universe. There's also a few eyes and planets and stuff on the side of the can here. Yeah, it's pretty involved. So yeah, that's uh, my short little video on the beer haul that I did from Ottawa, Ontario. Uh, next time I go, I'll be sure to pick up a whole host more. Because yeah, the interesting thing about the LCBO is that they, they have a lot of local brewed in-province beers in stock. Compare that to the SAQ here in Montreal, I mean, the SAQ has basically nothing. Which is wild, considering how many craft breweries there are uh, not just in Montreal, but all over Quebec. I wonder if that has something to do with the fact that you can get beers in like regular grocery stores. Maybe that's got something to do with like with the law differing differing between the different provinces. I don't know if that's really the case, but it could be. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video when I may be trying one of these. I got a few others in the fridge that I got to go through first, but these will be coming up pretty soon. Thanks for watching.